yeah hi friends this is leela welcome to my channel now what we are doing so we are writing the update post right so now we are creating we have created the update post when we are clicking in this here update post so the post the form is getting updated with is getting pre-populated with the details what we have given in the previous now if you go to the edit post.component.ts this is the code and in the html if you see it is the code we haven't written any validations let's try to write those validations uh, what we can do is just directly copy these validations so we are having the same validations right now what i will try to do is i will try to paste it here uh, as we are already having the post form post form is same and equal okay fine no problem and here text area also i am copying the same and here i can write description so the description the name wherever we are using the title here we can change it with the description and here i can change it like description should be valid and also here also description okay is required so should be minimum six characters so this is the code now what i can do is let's try to check the output now here if i remove some code here and if i come yeah I am, we are able to see yeah okay and here if i remove yeah we are able to see this one also nice fine so here we have written minimum 10 characters length right yeah we can change it now we have written the validations also successfully now what we'll try to do is here at the top we'll go and we'll write the submit on submit ng submit is equal to we will write here uh, sorry on submit on submit or on update post whatever the method you want you can create the method name let's go to the edit component.ts and here i will write on submit and here i will write one thing if not of this dot post form this is the common thing so we need to write it so if it is not valid then just return if it is not valid, just return or otherwise take the title okay this dot post form dot value dot title will will have the title in the same scenario we will have the description also description so value dot description we got the value now what we need to do here we need to dispatch the action so dispatch the action let's now we need to dispatch the action means now let's try to create the action here we have only action for the add post now let's write update post here what i will try to do is export constant sorry export constant update underscore post underscore action is equal to what i can do here post page update post okay so the constant i have created the same scenario here what i will try to do is update post okay so here i will create update underscore post underscore action and here so we will take the post itself okay now we got the data and now we will let's try to dispatch the action here so now before dispatching let's create the post here post of type sorry of type post of type post is equal to so id we need to take first this dot post dot id okay as we are already getting the id the data from the store here so we will have the id which is which we are going to be updated we have the id and we have the updated title and we need to take the description that was edited in the form so this is the post now dispatch the action here how can i dispatch this dot so we have injected the store right so yeah we have injected the store and let's write here this dot store dot dispatch sorry this dot store dot dispatch right yeah dispatch and here i need to call update post and in this one i need to send the post okay so we have written we are sending the post successfully we are dispatching the action now here we have the action also now in the reducer we need to write the code so what we need to write the code here on update post okay so we need to take the state and we need to state the state and the action now we what we will try to do we will try to return the state as it is immutably so we need to return the state now we need to update the post here so how i can update here let or otherwise constant update post 
update post updated post or otherwise so we need to take the updated post is equal to what i can do state dot post dot map i can do the map here i will get single post and here i can return and i can return so i am looping over this one all the posts and whichever the post id matches then i will replace with the action dot post or otherwise common or state dot post i will take it so for example each post i am getting if action dot post dot id is equal to is equal to st uh, not state post so post dot id if it is equal means then send action dot post okay or otherwise send the post itself so you will get the updated post here now take these posts and update it with the updated post here updated post okay perfect so we have we have did the updated posts also now let's try to see the output here if i try to see the output yeah we are getting the output here we will see the inspect element also we are able to see the inspect element okay now if i try to update this one if i click on update post we are getting some error that it is saying that object proper array only array is iterable okay fine what it is saying so state dot post dot map each one i am taking action dot post dot ready okay fine post is called update post so fine what is the error we are getting so let's go to the edit post dot component dot ts so here i have written title description everything is fine looks like everything is fine what is the problem here we see the console yeah it is compiling yeah it's fine showing okay okay might be slow little bit of slow i think by executing okay let's go here yeah it's working fine oh well, let's open the console and here let's see the console we got the errors in the console only right yeah so now i can write like this update post now it is updating yeah fine so i may might be some uh, execution delay the angular execution delay okay it's updating successfully okay so now we are able to update it successfully now what we'll try to do is we'll try to re redirect that one to the post so after updating so how can we do that one let's go to the edit post component at cs on submitting here i can router navigate what i need to do is let's inject the router private router is equal to router let's inject the router okay we have injected the router and here what i can do this dot router dot navigate of okay post so we navigate it to the post let's try to see the output now edit one so we have updated this one all okay, why is this one yeah edit one we have updated we are updating this one all update so it, it redirected to the post here we didn't get any error so this is the way how we can update the post okay so how we can update the post is uh, through the state management so what we have did we have created a form and we are we have fired an action update post and in the reducer what we have did is on update post we are mapping we are looping over all this post each post I'm and i am checking that each post id is matching if this id is matching means we are sending our own which was sent through the action the post or otherwise we are not usually sending the post so that the updated post immutably it will be updated and we are assigning that updated post to the post variable okay so this is the logic we have written here so we cannot directly update that on updated post of of index like that we cannot update okay it should not immutably updated it should be updated immutably so through map it can we can update immutably so this is how we will be updating the post in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to delete a post okay after deleting a post we have completed the crud operation use is the synchronous then afterwards we will try how to do with the database calls so ajax calls and all those things how, how we can do with the ajax also that post all the posts will be saving it in the database so we will be getting from the data from the database data and we'll update the same to the database we'll try to see it in the next video and if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you